For years, Filingdale's forbidding appearance has made people think of it as a secret base. But these days, they're trying to be as open as they can about what they do. Thank you. So I'm looking forward to finding out exactly what goes on in there. Security is high. It's level one, the same as the nuclear submarine base at Faslane in Scotland. I'm met by squadron leader Steve England, the man in charge of operations at Filingdale's. The radar's 40 metres high, with a total of 9,000 antenna, producing a beam of enormous intensity. Thanks very much. Whoa, it's quite a view. It's fantastic. We can see the radar beam now. It's almost instantaneous. Shoots out to a distance of 3,000 nautical miles, 360 degrees around the radar. Um, the reach is important because the further out we can see, the better the early warning we would get of a missile event. And indeed, for our space missions, we can see a great number of the objects that are in low Earth orbit. But it's what they're doing inside the radar that's fascinating. This might look like an ordinary office, but at any moment now, this could happen. Build up Bay Biscay area. Copy Bay Biscay. Site report now. This is a vital training session, drilling the crew in how to react to the radar detecting a missile attack. So what just happens? We were basically following the launch of what appears to be a missile through the air, and the computer will predict where it's likely to impact. How does the radar help you do that? OK, so when the missile passes through this base of radar coverage, we can then follow the missile's track as it's travelling through the air at many thousands of miles an hour. They have just 60 seconds to verify that it's a real attack. Farlingdale site report valid for one missile. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Once it's confirmed, the information's escalated to the top of the US and UK command chains. And from then on, it's out of Filingdale's hands.